Well, good day. This is going to be how to fill a shape with a picture, how to rotate things, how to add bullets to a list, and how to move and copy things in a straight line. So let's get rid of this. And we're going to turn our paper sideways. So we'll go to page design and we'll go to orientation. We'll turn it to landscape. Let's put in a word art. And let's see, the word I'm going to choose today is this one. You can choose whichever one you want. Mine's going to say rainbow plants. Then I'm going to say OK. And this looks terrible, so I'm going to move it up here. And I'm going to uh, give it a right click and change the shape. And the shape I want is this one right here. I don't want this one down here. This one sort of warps things, but I can just make it absolutely straight. Then I want this thing to sort of look like a rainbow. So I pull it way over here, and I try to pull it down, and it doesn't look very good. And I might try to pull it some more, and it's starting to look a little better, I guess. And you don't be afraid to pull it, like, all the way off the paper. If you have to pull it all the way off the paper, that's fine. Because your document's going to end up on the paper anyway, and you don't really have anything down here anyway. So don't be afraid to pull things all the way off the paper. And I'll make mine a little smaller, and make it about like this, and about that and that's gonna look good but you know what I don't really want it to say rainbow plants I want to edit this thing I want it to say rainbow plant shop so I give it a click and I think well how am I gonna change the words I mean um oh oh I see right here look edit text and you could just right click it and it has the same little button edit the text so I'm gonna click edit text and it's not gonna say rainbow plants it's gonna say rainbow plant shop okay and I'm gonna take this uh, I'm gonna put a big picture of plants in the middle so let's put a oval in the middle I'll look for the insert and then I'll do shapes and I'm gonna go for that oval now if you want to make an oval you just like start over here and draw it about like that and then that's gonna look about about right to me I can sort of move it up into the middle and that looks that looks pretty good. Now if you want to make an absolutely perfect circle, you could do that too. You could insert and go to your shapes and go to the circle, but this time hold down the shift key. If you hold down the shift key and then drag it, it'll make an absolutely perfect circle. It won't be an oval at all. I just wanted to show you that you can use the shift. So now that I have my shape, I'm going to put a picture inside of it. So I want to fill it in, but not fill it in with a color. I'm going to fill it in with a picture. So I give it a right click, and I want to format this auto shape. And I'm headed for fill, all right, but I'm not going to put in a color. I'm going over here to fill effects. So I click on fill effects, and sure enough, a texture pattern picture. So I'm going to choose picture, and I'm going to select a picture. And the picture I'm going to select is someplace in the assignments folder. You'll have pictures in the assignments folder. I'm going to choose these tulips, for example, and say insert. And it's going to sort of look like this, and I'll say, OK, and hey, look at this. Watch this now. Hey, I got pictures inside my shape. Hey, it's fantastic. Now I'm going to take this thing, and it looks kind of plain to be straight up and down. I'm going to take this, and you never notice this green little circle, did you? If you click on a shape, you get this green little circle. If I click on these words, I get this green little circle. And this is the rotate. I'm going to take this thing and rotate it. Whoa, did you see that? Did you see that? Then I could sort of move it over here a little bit. And this looks very odd, but I think it looks great. I'm going to do the same thing to this. I'm going to rotate it. Rotate means to sort of spin it on its own axis. And I'm going to move it down here, and I'm going to rotate it a little bit more. And so this is going to look kind of odd and unusual. And this should attract people's attention. They'll think, what is that thing? How come it's sideways? And now they're looking at my poster, which is exactly what I want them to do. I want them to look at my poster. So now I'm going to add some words over here, and they're just going to be ordinary words. So I'm going to use that ordinary text box. I could go here on the Home tab. It says Draw a Text Box. Or I could go on Insert, and it has the exact same box, Draw a Text Box. So I'm going to draw a text box. And you come down here, and you're getting ready right about here. Looks like a good spot. Now we're going to draw a box. Hold it down, 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 about this big. Now I'm going to, oh boy, that's a very small, huh? Who can read that? Nobody can read that. Let's make, uh, what do you think, 26? Maybe 26. And we'll put in some words. Look, it'll say tulips we sell. Maybe we sell roses. Maybe we sell carnations. Maybe we sell points. 
said he is. I didn't spell poinsettias right, did I? P-O-I-N, is it an N? Poinsettias, and then maybe we'll just say much more. Much more. Are you excited? I'm excited. Now, let's zoom in a little bit so a person can see what I'm doing. Let's put some bullets on the front. Bullets are like those little dots in front of a list. And you can go over to the Home tab, and they have this bullet button. Not the one, two, three button. The bullet button, you give it a click, and you say, what kind of bullets do you want? Maybe I want uh, just ordinary bullets like this. But look how small they are. Look how little. Then I'll do it again. Look, I'll say, well, maybe I want uh, diamond shapes. But, geez, they're so small. Now, the letters are 26, but the bullets are not 26. And so we're going to have to do something about that. Let's go back to the bullet button. And you can add more different kind of bullets. You can say, I'm going to look at the characters and see if I can find any good characters. Oh, my gosh, there's like a million characters. Oh, did you see that? Hey, now that is nice for a flower shop. Let's say, okay. And I'll say, okay, again. But look, they're so little. And the reason is, is because the bullets are not 26. The words are 26. So what I need to do is make the bullets the same size as the words. So I remember the words are 26. So now we'll head over to the bullet button. And this is what B students do. B students do not change the point size of the bullets. And D students, they don't even make bullets. So I'll go over here and I'll say, my size of my bullet is only 10. But the size of my words is 26. I should make the bullets the same size. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say 26 for the bullets, same size as the words. And so, now wait a minute. Now, how did you do that again? I highlighted everything like this. And I went over to the bullets. And I went to the bottom where it says bullets and numbering because I wanted to make a change to it. And when I went into bullets and numbering, I could change the size. That's going to be very important. Now, here's another thing that only A students do. B students will not do this. These bullets are very close to these words. So I want to move the words just a little bit away from these bullets. So I'm going to highlight them, go up to my ruler, and I've got a and triangle that points down, and i got a triangle that points up. And I'm going to grab this triangle that points up and scoot it over ever so slightly. Oh, that's so much better. Now I'm going to put some pictures across the bottom here. I'm going to use that clip art. So I'm going to go to insert and choose clip art. Remember, those are the little pictures that are inside the program. I'm looking for a flower, and you're going to probably find a lot of flowers, but I didn't find too many. But I'm going to insert this flower. Just give it a click. And here's the picture up on my document. So I'm done with clip art now. I'm just going to close it up. And now I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, maybe about like this. And I'm going to put a row of flowers across the bottom. So I'm going to copy this thing. And remember, copy was the control key. So I'm going to hold down the control key, and I'm going to drag it over here, about like that. And then I'm going to drag it again, just try to get it edge to edge really good. And drag it over here and try to get it edge to edge really good. And if you can't see it exactly, you can zoom in, of course, with the zoom slider. Let's zoom in a bit and see what we get. And I think I did a pretty good job. I have a few little gaps in there, maybe. Maybe I can just carefully scoot it over ever so slightly. Maybe, I don't know. And if you don't get it perfect, well, hey, you know. I'm only in seventh grade. What do you want? Right? Right? I'm just a kid. So I'll get it, you know, pretty good. And I think that looks pretty good. Go back to see the whole thing. Is this one, you don't even have to slide it. Now let's put... Uh, Let's put the address right about on top of here. So I'm going to stretch the address. And if you want to stretch letters, then you need word art to stretch letters. Now these, this is not word art because they're just ordinary letters. But this one's going to be sort of long and stretched. So I'm going to insert and I'm going to choose word art. And it doesn't matter which one you choose, but I'm going to choose this one. And I'll put in the address. Let's say the address is 2520 Dove Drive. Not Dive Drive. Dove Drive. And I'll say that's in, I'll say that's in Sacramento, S-A-C-R-A-M-E-T-O. And you know what? For a business, they usually put their phone number. So I'll do 916, and can I just make up a number? I'm going to put a space, then I'm going to put 555-1234. Now, it looks like I pressed enter, but I did not press enter. I just type, 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 no enters. And I say, okay. So here it is really big, but I'll just like grab a corner and carefully try to make it smaller and then drag it down to where it's going to go. And that's still kind of big, so maybe I'll scoot it in a little, but not too much. I mean, I kind of want my phone number to be kind of big. I think I need more flowers. 
I'm going to hold down the control key to copy it and see if I can get it kind of close. Well, maybe one more, I don't know. You don't have to do as many as I did, but you know, it's yours to look nice. So when you get done, you'll think, yeah, I'm kind of proud of it. It looks pretty good. So I think that's pretty good. Can you make the rainbow plant shop? And it's got bullets and it's got uh, a filled in shape. It's filled in with a picture. I think you can make it. Ready? Go!